All right, guys. Um, football at the weekend. A little bit disappointing for England. Um, yeah, it's not coming home this time, unfortunately. However, um, and the whole point of this channel, really, because it's called um, World Class Happiness, is to take the positives from everything and to learn lessons from everything. Okay, so the positives are obviously that we got further than we'd ever got before. Um, we'd never been in the final of a championship for 55 years and we never we never won that particular championship. So, yeah, no, that was, uh, that was certainly positive. Teams looking really good. Um, you know, there's, there's strength and depth in the team. The management is good. So, yeah, no, going forward towards the World Cup next year, we've got to be quite positive and quite happy about that. Um, now, what I liked about, well, I mentioned the management, what I liked about Gareth Southgate, um, you know, in, in defeat, he uh, was obviously um, interviewed at the end, and his interview went pretty much uh, along the lines of him holding his hands up and, and taking ownership for everything, taking responsibility and saying, yeah, it was my fault, I picked the penalty takers, I put the subs on at the time that I did, I picked the team, the whole thing is my fault, if you like. Um, and I was really quite um, proud of him for that, really. And, and that's what a good leader does. Uh, gone are the days where good leaders shout and bark orders and, you know, make people afraid of them. Um, good leaders support everyone. They take responsibility, hold their hands up and they have empathy for the players and the supporters and stuff like that. And I think he, he ticked all those boxes, if I'm honest. Um, now, this video is a little bit about leadership. Um, the best book I've ever read on leadership was a, um, a book that I've read that a lot of you may have heard of called um, Extreme Ownership by um, Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, um, both ex-Navy SEALs. Um, Jocko Willink's pretty famous now. He sort of uh, does a lot of podcasting and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he they, they both do um, these sort of lectures and stuff on um, leadership to big companies and stuff like that, and, and relate it to their military background. But um, but really, what they all say, or what he says, and, and what they say is to uh, the biggest part is to take ownership. Is to kind of take responsibility for your part that went wrong uh, and even if your part didn't go wrong how can we make our part better so it's less likely to go wrong next time um, now Gareth Southgate did that and some people are still on social media still um, saying you know oh, I blame him He's, you know he needs to do a better job um, and the players need to do better they need to practice their penalties they need to get you know, less money or whatever it might be, um, and you know, people saying, "Oh, that was that that was," for instance, the manager's fault, which I think is a bit of a ludicrous um, comment to a certain extent. But um, but he he agreed. The manager agreed. The man the manager agreed that it was the manager's fault, and that's what makes him a good manager, in my view. Um, so I was uh, I was really pleased with that. Now. Because he did that, we also need to do that. The supporters, um, the fans, and the, even the media, we need to do that as well if we want things to go right. And that's, yeah, arguably, that's why things didn't go to plan in the final when we had penalty takers step up um, this time. Because people in the past have been slated, have been, you know, um, abused in certain ways when they miss penalties uh, and made to feel like they've let the whole country down and that is why to this day when people step up they don't always deliver because they've, they've got that burden on their shoulders they know what's coming if they lose and it's shown again this time we've obviously had racial abuse towards the people who who, um, who miss their penalties this time um, so it still goes on um, and Personally, I have total respect for those people, whether they score their penalties or not. Um, th to step up in that situation is just so, you know, unbelievable, really, how you can even do that and hold your nerve as much as they do. So, 
yeah, I've got total respect for those people, and we should too. And um, and we should hold our hands up and play our part, and do the part that we can do better, which is support them. You know, is to um, congratulate them on their performances, regardless of whether they win or lose. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with um, breaking it down and discussing and and trying to solve problems and trying to work out ways to make things better. But when you come down on people and say, oh, that's that's rubbish, that's terrible, that's what went wrong, that was your fault, that was your fault, that was their fault, that was this person or this thing that caused it, why not um, kind of shine the, or, or point the mirror back at yourselves and, 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 and work out what it is that you can do better? Now, you might think, well, I'm sat in, a, in my house hundreds of miles away, what use am I going to be? What can I do different? Um, we can all do something different. We can all do. We can all play our part. So if we all get behind the team, um, you know, at all times, not just when they're winning, not just when they're getting to the finals, not just when, you know, everything's hunky dory, but when things don't always go to plan. And we only lost by the smallest of margins in the final of a competition we've never been in the final of. So why are we so annoyed? We should be happy that we that we got to the final um however we shouldn't be satisfied with second we should be looking at how we can improve in order to win so you can you can be positive that you've got so far but also be positive in trying to find the solutions um and we need to as fans and supporters we need to get behind the people who um who you know who miss penalties in this case or the manager or the team or whoever we need to get behind them as much as we can so next time they've they know that they've got our back in if things don't go to plan so um yeah that's what we need to do take ownership you know don't ask them to take ownership we've got to take ownership for our bit as well um and uh and you, you know not just for as, as football supporters in all walks of life that's why i do these videos so you can relate it to your own life um you know if you're a parent and your kid gets into trouble at school don't straight away look for someone to blame oh it's the other kid's fault oh it's the teacher's fault they don't understand my kid they pick on my kid um you know it's not it's not you know it's or even your kid yeah it's your kid's fault oh he's a naughty kid that oh, he's got adhd or whatever it is um you know hold your hands up maybe yes maybe you need to do something different with your parenting maybe you need to try and understand them better or speak to them more or kind of explain to them why things are wrong and why things are right um and hold your hands up and, and try and improve your part and that's how you know how we can take ownership of everything okay so um i'm going to leave that there today um hopefully you're enjoying the videos um, if you are, if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help. And if um, you're liking the channel and some of the things that we're talking about on the channel, please subscribe. It really, really helps. And I'll see you again on a, another video.